These are just the players that have left the Lakers since LeBron James arrived. Hey, goodness. That's a very good team that you are looking at on your screen and players who have made all-star teams and have been most important yeah, we should players. Put that. We should not put even Jordan yeah. Clarkson. Jordan Clarkson should be on there. We, yeah. there there's a bunch of these. these are actually but there. these are literally just since LeBron got there. And so the question, Stephen A. Smith, despite your skeptical look, I'm going to answer it. Would LeBron James be better off right now if they had kept some of that collection of players rather than having AD and Well, I mean, if you put it that way, some. I mean, there's a play or two that I could appeal from this. Davis look, and Russell look, Westbrook. Please, no. Excuse me, none of them. I'm sorry. All of them, bye. All right, I'm sure. Listen, I wish them nothing but the best. And I'm quite <laughs> sure that they're making Bible contributions at they other are. teams. They absolutely, they especially really in the are. nation's capital with Kuzma and Montrose Harrell. I get all of that, but the bottom line is this. AD Anthony Davis is Anthony Davis, okay? Russell Westbrook, turnovers and all. The man makes clutch shots. He obviously is a future Hall of Famer. The game Game that he brings to the table, the aura that they both bring to the table. None of these guys are those guys. You're going to fit in nicely. You can make shots. You can rebound. You can do whatever. But in terms of them fitting with LeBron James, hell no. Is he right? No, he's 100% right. And it's mainly because, one, the, you know, once you win the championship, yes, yes, then it's over. There is no, more, right. conversation. There's no more conversation. Anthony Davis and, and LeBron James should be judged by how many they win, right. not if they win, because they should win, and we they did what they expected. But ultimately, with that amount of talent on that team, they should have won too. That's the reason why you go. You're able to go get Anthony Davis when you were able to. That's why LeBron James decided to come to the Lakers because he knew that they had assets that could go get adults. Once you win. That, that it sort that of ends the, the conversation. conversation. But, 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 it is, it is sort of fun to wonder, like, what would have happened if LeBron had played with half them dudes, mm -hmm. right? And again, I know Jordan Clarkson was, was before. But Jordan Clarkson is the sixth man of the year. You put him out there with LeBron, how much more effective would he be? Uh, well, they no, won. No, they won, no, Stephen A. I'm not going to go the back The last thing on I'll it. say, though, is when LeBron left Miami to go to Cleveland, he did the exact, oh, he did. The team did the exact same thing. They had a number one pick in Andrew Wiggins. They shipped him out and brought in Kevin Love. Right. We're going to bring in an adult. So this is a, a similar formula that you've seen in other places. Don't remind me of LeBron James leaving South Beach to like go back to Lake Erie. <laughs> it changed my life. I don't like it. Okay, so let me, let, let's just throw that out of the way. Secondly, I know we call him the Chicago native. He Moonlight. I call him Moonlight. Scottsdale Moonlight. That's his nickname, Scottsdale Moonlight, because <laughs> that's where he is half the year, okay? I'm bringing that up for this reason. <laughs> If Anthony Davis were healthy last year, Phoenix, I don't believe, gets out of the first round. Right. And we know how good Phoenix is. I don't think they get out of the first round against the Lakers if well, Anthony Davis. If he was Davis, healthy, though, the Lakers Anthony, wouldn't have been playing him in the first well, round. Well, if Anthony Davis and LeBron, if Anthony Davis and LeBron James were healthy for that series, I don't think they get out. I don't think that Phoenix gets out of the first round. So let's understand who we're talking about here. We're talking about a guy in Anthony Davis that could have easily been the Finals MVP a couple of years ago. Let's remember that. He's Anthony Davis. None of these players you mentioned can sniff him. They can't even sniff him. Understood. But if he were healthy is a question we ask about sure. Anthony Davis. Every year. It seems far That's too fair. often. By the way, today, Russell Westbrook, 33rd birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Russell Russ. Westbrook. Happy and birthday. so as, as combined right now, that group you still feel good about. That's no a matter. lot of, That's players, a lot of players, players, man. Well, you got a lot of and, let, and let's give some credit because all of these guys weren't number two picks. You had Josh Hart. You had Kyle Kuzma. They had some gems that they picked. You know, uh, Zubak, he's been playing great with the Clippers. So they drafted yeah. some guys in that middle Well, round. Zubak, they should have never let go of them. Like should have never they had let him. But Absolutely. it's just, yeah, you just look right. at the you know what, you know what that means? Somebody, somebody's drafted well. well. Really well, well, consistently over a four-year stretch. And we know, we're like, looking at the Knicks, that's hard to do. All right. <laughs> so don't, you continue don't to press it on before we Steve get to the break. We still that's have a low blow. That's a low set. blow. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.